Every day when I wake up, the first thing I do is I walk over to my studio and I have this little notebook and I just flip to a new page and just put Monday to do and everything that I want to do that day, everything that I need to do that day, and then like anything that I want to learn that day and making sure that by the time I go to sleep, every single thing's crossed off because now that I don't go to school, I have like no schedule. And if I wanted to sit around and do nothing all day, I could, and no one's really going to stop me. I mean, I might get a call from my manager in a couple of days if he's not hearing from me, but there's no like teacher, there's no boss. Like I'm kind of doing what I want to do. And so that could be really dangerous. So I've been waking up and like anything from like make bed to like make two new songs today, or like say I have a couple phone calls. Like right now I'm looking at my list and one of them is this interview. And when I'm done, I'm going to cross it off and then move on to the next thing, you know? Like the other day it was researching uh, this thing called Robin Hood, which is like stock investing for kind of like beginners and all that. Like do research on this topic or whatever it is. That's kind of been another big change in my life that's been super positive. Something as simple as making a list. That way, as soon as something pops into my head, like, oh, I need to go to the bank today to deposit this check or whatever it is, I write it down. And then because usually I would just forget and then I would get around to it the next day. But anytime I want to do anything, anytime I want to learn something, that's in reason. If I say that I want to go skydiving, obviously it's not going to be on today's list. But whatever it is, I line it out and just put them one after the next and fill up the whole page and then get to it and don't stop until it's done. And then at that point, I'm like, okay, like now I can sit around and play Xbox or watch YouTube or whatever it is. But yeah, that's been like a super big change in my life that obviously it's not that big of a change if you look at it, but it's been a big change in kind of how it's affecting my life and how I'm implementing it into my new workflow. What's up, Daw Nation? I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip video from our episode of Behind the Daw with Pluko. Now, if you wanna check out the full series over here in the top right corner, there should be a little card showing up. You can click on that card and you can head on over to the full episode. Also, by the way, you can head down into the description. The description is totally fine. Feel free to infiltrate the description whenever you want. You can go down there and click the link as well. Also, if you want to keep seeing content like this, where you see huge music producers, music industry experts, people of that nature, share a bunch of insight, knowledge, and wisdom about the music industry, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell that is right below this video because we put out a whole bunch of content that is going to keep helping you on your music journey. Also, if you really did like this video, then go ahead and comment down below. We'd love to know what you liked about this episode, and we'd also love to see who you would like to see come on the series. So if you have any suggestions of music producers or music industry experts or anything like that, you'd love to see them come on the show, go ahead and comment down below. So Donation, with that being said, make sure to check back here constantly because we are always putting out more content. There's so much content that we're putting out. Thank you, Ben. We salute you. Also, make sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. With that being said, Donation, we'll see you on the next quick tip video.